Hello everyone, nice to see you again. I'm Chris. In this video, I'll give you a very radical introduction of a new combination module come from this is PNOZMEF. It's a CAT FSOE. It is a very great module that I tested with a couple times. And so I would like to make a video that will let me to introduce it first. And then in the future, I will make some tutorials so how to configure it. Let's start. So uh, I think there's so many people that used the PIPS device before to this type of compact uh, safety con controller. They have two types of uh, modules. One type is installed on the left side, and one the type is installed in the installing in the right hand side. This time, the module that I introduce is Isacad FSOE. It is installed in the left side. So before I continue to start my I continue my videos, I would like to say thanks again to Please Japan because they. Uh, brought this new device to me to let me play with that. So thanks, please, Japan, you are a hero. And also let me introduce like, me again. I'm Chris. I come from Hong Kong. I'm working with some stuff in vacuum automations. In the left hand side here is my Twitter, my blog, and my YouTube channel. If you like me, you can follow me and to get my newest update videos. Okay, so what is the highlight point of this FSOE module. As I mentioned before, it's an extension unit on the left hand side, and the maximum cycle time is 10 milliseconds. And you can set the version time of between 200 milliseconds and 655434 milliseconds. And this very great function is the FSOE master slave functions and also the isaka state functions can really put in parallel what this means that it means that one time you have these previous modules then you can run three types of features in the same time and one is fsoe master one is fsoe slave and the normal isaka slave complications and this of all very Beautiful highlight point I would like to say here is the Isaka slave functions can be operated without the FSOE master slave functions. It means that this module can be just operate as a normal communication in Isaka. You don't need the FSOE master or, or slave, it just depends on what your applications. But for FSOE, actually, there's um, according to the ETG 5001. 6900 and make some more 60 60 connections can be connected in the same times and only boot data can used in here and the maximum data data size is 600 bytes and for the fso slave sure is uh, according to the standard tg uh, etg 501195 and make some four connections in use in the same time only boot data has can be used and because uh, you need to be careful that for if you config you work uh, operate the this module in FSO is live then it's not contain any safety device parameters so if you want to use the this module then you need to download the latest versions of the converters that you can download from PIP's website then you can config the ESACAT FSOE modules so uh, here's a little bit um, I would like to explain for the safety complications. Then here, yeah, there's I think maybe you hear that there's two type of uh, safety complications. That one is a black channel and one is white channel. I'm sorry if I, my English is not very good. Maybe I cannot explain it very well. Um, what is white channel? White channel is uh, for example you have a sender, you have a, you have a safety data sender, you have a safe data receiver. So the patch from the safety sender, the safety receiver, there is a x a um a uh, how say that? You say only a patch is for this safety connections. You need to make your own cables. You need to make your own path. You need to you know, spend your to so much cost. It's not make, it maybe not make any sense in this, in in this moment. And this other type is called black channel. What is black channel? Black channel, it means the safety data will be run on this low, will be uh, sent in low mode communications. And so how do you deal the data is safe or not? The data will be deal from 
between the safety data sender and safety data receiver. The safety data, safety data sender will generate the safety data. In, inside you have maybe have CRC, you have time step, so many things, blah, blah, blah. And the type, the safety receiver will check all this data is prop all this data is properly correct or not and you choose to use this data or not so this is a black channel by using this type of communication approach then you can no need to build your own communication rule you no, no communication path you decrease your cost so in here you can see that um, the inside the is a category. The safety container is inside the safety is inside the normal is uh, telegram. So in the right hand side it's very normal is conversions. Then you have is master, you have different types of is slave and FSOE slave and you have FSOE master. So the the one the one one that I feel like FSOE master FSOE is because the ESAC master and SOG master can be separate. So here you can see here. Um, maybe some people that when they use back off before they just put a back off IBC in here, and then in the right hand side they directly input a uh, install a EL six nine one zero something. And actually, it is also the same. It's separate between the ESAC master and the FSO master. So by using this type of uh, by using FSOE, then you can um, separate the normal part and the safety part. For example, you have so many songs of you have uh, ten songs of machine. Then you song you can have one FSOE master, maybe, and then each FSOE master can control its own safety song. So it's just one of example. Okay, so here is the applications example. Actually, this is a uh, pictures I screenshot from. Uh, this menu and here is a string cat is using in this case so as I mentioned before string cat they configure ESA cat connections they're inside their network um, at the same time I use the PNOZ multiple converters then I'll import the ESI files so in this case maybe I'll need to import the year 1904 and year 12904 ESI conversion file that inside my converters. Then I can complete the connections. I need to set the FSOE address. I need to set the connection ID. Then, when you, after that, you just conversion the parameters also. Then you can download the download the uh, the project conversion uh, project into the panel set controller. Then it works. So in this type of conversions, you have two project two projects. One project is for config the normal the whole ESACAT network and one project will be config the FSOE network. So I hope you like this video in this time. Maybe having a two weeks or uh, next week or this week I will release my first video for exactly this example. So okay I hope you like my video and this is the end of this time and I hope I'm see you next time. So please have a good day. If you like my channel please subscribe it and see you next time. Bye-bye.